most people have a junk computer just laying around the house. For instance, one like this that's like, Lord, I don't even know, like 20 years old. What can you do with an old computer that you got nothing going on with? Today, I'm going to show you how to turn a junk computer into a file sharing server that you can use in your home. Okay, so let me explain what we have going on here. This right here, even though it looks like it's in a separate window, this is actually my computer that I showed you previously set up on remote access. So you don't have to do this. It's just easier for video recording purposes. And this over here is the current computer that I'm running on my workstation. And as you can see, I'm already in the network setting and there's no other files that I can see on the network. Well, I'm going to go ahead and change that. So I'm going to jump back over to my old computer and I have a fresh install of Windows 10 on it. Please keep in mind that these steps will work on anything from Windows I believe even Windows 98 onward, but if you want to use an older operating system, you can look up the steps online. They're very simple. The same steps, same process, just different locations. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is start a folder wherever we want to put it at. And I'm just going to go here and I'm going to hit new and I'm going to make a folder and I'm going to name this shared drive old for old computer shared drive. And all I have to do now, make sure that it is connected to the internet. Well, not near, not the internet. Just make sure that the computer is connected to the network, which I have the network right here connected to it. I'm going to right click on the new file we made. I'm going to go down to properties. Then I'm going to go to sharing. I'm going to hit advanced sharing and I'm going to say share this folder. Now the shared name is going to automatically come up. It's going to be the name of the folder, shared drive old. Now if there is a folder that's already being shared with the same name, it's going to automatically rename it. If you want to rename it, you can. You can rename it whatever you want. I'm just going to leave it as the default. And right here it says how many users can access it at once. If you are doing this in an office you might want to raise it up from 20 to something else but for home use 20 is more than enough go down here to permissions we want to select everyone and we want to allow full control on everything that way everyone has full access to everything inside the files they can read they can write they can delete they can change whatever they want inside of it if you don't want this option you can go in and specifically select which users you want but for my purposes I'm going to say everyone in my household can go in view edit delete and change files inside of this folder now right here I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add someone else. We're going to type in the name of the account that we are currently on. So if I scroll over here, I can go right here. We can see that Windows 10 or Win 10 is the name. So we're just going to add that in. So we're just going to type in Win 10, check names, and it's going to come up with the name right there. We are going to hit OK. And we're going to allow full access and control. We're going to hit apply. OK. And then from here, I'm going to hit apply and OK. And now you can see the network path is this right here. You can either write this down or take a picture of it. I'm just going to copy it over because I am remote accessing this. So the clipboard will share. And then finally, we're going to hit share. This is the owner. We're going to add everyone. We're going to change this to read and write. And we're going to hit share. And now everyone should have access to this file. I'm going to hit done and close. Now you might run into some issues if you do not have a password currently set up on your machine. And also if your machine is not automatically set up to log in because obviously you have to have access to the file on the host machine in order to 
share access to everyone else on the network. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set up the password on your account in case it doesn't already have one and how to automatically log in. And the reason why we're setting up a password is some newer systems, for instance, like Windows 11 and Windows 10, require you to have password access in order to access those files. It's for security purposes and things like that. Now, older operating systems, you don't have to have that. That's why we set it up for everyone because everyone couldn't have access to it. But you might need to have a password set up on it and it might just be good anyway for security purposes. You don't want people just to bump into your network and be able to access everything without your permission. So it's always good to have a password set up. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do that. To set a password on your account, go to start and settings. And again, depending on your version of Windows, it's going to look a little different, but it's all going to be there. Then go to accounts. And then you can go down here to sign in options and password. And you can change the password on your account. We're just going to go down here and we can hit window R or you can hit start and run depending on your operating system. And then you're going to type in net PL w i z that's net people wizard or at least that's what i always assumed it is i don't really know what that stands for so we're going to go ahead and hit ok and then on here you're going to see everyone's account now right here it says users must enter a username and password to log into the computer you want to deselect this and when you deselect this that means that it's automatically going to log in and hit apply and I'm going to jump back over to my workstation computer. And if you open up a normal Windows Explorer, you can go down to network. And as long as it's discoverable on the network, you should be able to see it. So we'll refresh it, see if it shows up. And it doesn't automatically show up like it didn't for me in this example. That's why we wrote down or took a picture or copied over the exact URL link for that file. That way we can manually go to it even if it doesn't show up on the network. Now, if it does not show up right here, all you have to do is click up here at the address bar, paste in the exact link, and it should go right to it. Okay. It is now asking for our credentials, which this is the first time we log into it. We'll need to go to win 10 and the password for win 10. Remember my credentials and hit OK. And now you have access to the folder. So just to prove that we can actually access the folder, we can go to new. We're going to make a text document and say this was not here before. And as you can see, if we go back over, there is now a folder in there that says this is not here before. I'm going to go ahead, copy this, and we're gonna paste it right back in. So it should be a new one that says copy. Let's minus that back down, and there we have it. So there is full rewrite access to that folder. Now that you have it all set up, if you'd like to make it easy access in the future, follow along with these steps so you can make a shortcut that you can put on your desktop or really anywhere that you want. So right now we are inside of the folder on the main computer. And what we want to do in order to make a shortcut is you just click on the desktop name right up here from the one you manually typed in. And then you can see that it says it shared drive old. All we have to do is right click on that and we go down to create shortcut. And it's gonna come up and say, do you want, you cannot create a shortcut here. Do you want to place it on the desktop? And all you have to do is click yes. Now, once you have all that done, then you are completely set to have a file sharing service at your home or at your business where everyone can access files. And it was all using a junk computer that was just setting around. So completely free file server at your house. Thank you for making it at this point in the video. And if you are here, go ahead, like, and subscribe, and possibly look at our other videos that we have here, because we have some there, we have some here, and we have a subscribe button right there. So if you haven't clicked it yet, go ahead and click it.